we still don't know for sure whether Donald Trump was hit by a bullet, whether he was hit by glass fragments, whether he was hit by shrapnel. We don't have those details. What the hell are you talking about? Joy Reid is an unhinged lunatic on any normal day. But after Donald Trump's assassination attempt, she's gone straight to Psychoville with Mayor Ray Finkel. Yes, the lady that spends every day calling her political opponents dangerous conspiracy theorists has a conspiracy theory of her own, which no doubt she thinks is completely different because she's got a wild one about the Trump shooting that I can easily debunk within seconds, but let's hear her out for science. We still don't know for sure whether Donald Trump was hit by a bullet, whether he was hit by glass fragments, whether he was hit by shrapnel. We don't have those details. We actually have no details from his physician, even though this man is still a Secret Service protected, you know, and pres presidential candidate. We know almost nothing. Why? Why don't we know that much? We know that three people were shot. One person, unfortunately, was killed at the rally. We don't know where they were sitting or standing relative to him. We don't know why, for nine full seconds, Donald Trump was allowed to stand back up during an active shooting, an active shooter situation, even though they, at that point, had said the shooter, the shooter was down. How would have they know? How would they, would they have known if there were more shooters or not? Nobody knew that there could have been five shooters for all they knew. Yet they allowed him to stand up in the middle of that, you know, crisis and pose for a photo and fist pump the air so he could get the iconic photo. And then they allowed him to stand up again outside of the SUV instead of just shoving him into the SUV. That seems really unusual. What is the actual injury to Donald Trump's ear that's under that bandage? Shouldn't we know that by now? It's weird. And there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of curiosity about it. <laughs> you know, in the sort of media world, you know, my profession. It's weird, right? Where are the FOIAs? Why isn't the New York Times, like, aggressively pursuing his medical records? It's just weird. Just, just a strange thing. Just a strange thing that I've noticed, and I don't know if you guys have noticed it too, but it's weird. Stupid. Yes, it's very weird, but not for the reasons that you think. You asked one good question there: Why did the Secret Service leave him on the stage for so long? But a better question would be: Why was he on the stage at all? The FBI, Secret Service, and local police knew about the shooter for up to 40 minutes before Trump was shot. So why was he on the stage at all? I'm gonna get to all that, but first let me quickly address this retarded conspiracy theory. First of all, remember Alex Jones and how he had his entire life destroyed and all of his money from now until the time he dies, spoken for by the parents of Sandy Hook for suggesting it was all a hoax. It seems that standard should apply here to Joy Reid and MSNBC, but we all know it won't. Fuck you. You know how easy it is to debunk Joy Reid's stupid conspiracy? Easy. Here's a widely distributed photo of immediately after the shooting. Notice anything? Yeah, those are teleprompters. Undamaged teleprompters. In fact, every photo of this stage shows the teleprompters that were clearly not shot and could not have caused Trump's injuries. Oh look, here's another photo showing the actual bullet grazing Trump's ears as it passed by. Even Snopes admits this fairy tale is completely false, stating the obvious. There's no evidence of anything broken or shattering, but there is a bullet and a shooter. Joy Reid is utterly full of shit, and by her own standards, a dangerous spreader of conspiracy theories. Oh, that was different. MSNBC could be looking at big lawsuits, so let's keep our fingers crossed. By the way, can we take just a moment to appreciate how insanely lucky Donald Trump is? What are the odds of turning your head at exactly the right millisecond to avoid an incoming bullet? Just look at that. It doesn't even seem real. I mean, who is this guy? A time traveler? Freaking Neo? You see something to say? Take a look what happened. <laughs> Take a look what happened. Check out. 
Checa até aí. entire event is surreal. We know now for a fact that the local police, the secret service and the FBI knew about this guy for up to 40 minutes before the first shot was fired. At 5:10 p.m., Crooks was first identified as a person of interest. At 5:30 p.m., Crooks was spotted with a freaking rangefinder. Then at 5:52, Crooks was again spotted this time on the roof and by the secret service. Then at 6:02, they let Trump take the stage. Then about 10 minutes later, after Crooks took his time to set up and aim his shot, he began firing. Why the hell was Donald Trump on that stage? It was either gross incompetence, criminal negligence, or they let it happen. They knew and they let it happen. Given everything we've watched these people do to stop Donald Trump from getting power, I wouldn't put it past them. And I definitely 100% do not trust that director of the Secret Service. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.